All right, guys, we just rolled into our next job. We got equipment scattered everywhere. This one's going to be fun. This one's going to be a little different. Let's do it. You bring your swimming trunks? I did. <laughs> I hope you don't need them, but I got a feeling you just might. Would you like to explain to these fine people what we're doing? I'd love to. Hey, that's my people. So that's an excavator. You guys see that? It's a Volvo. And then we got these fancy. Look at these. Homeowner even torched. I shouldn't say homeowner. The man owns a fabricating <laughs> shop. <laughs> the man owns a fabricating shop, but he put points on the end of these steel beams. This expert operator here is going to take those steel beams and put them out there. They're going to be piers and supports for, uh, what's it called? Dock. A dock. And then You're he's going captain. to... You should know that. <laughs> ah, this is your captain speaking. Okay. That's what we're doing. I'm so tired. <laughs> so, here's the thing. We need to reach out there about 16 feet, which I think we'll have to reach for. The question is whether or not we can drive them straight without you going swimming. I bet you can. I got faith in you. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it does. It looks really good. Okay, so we got the first one set out there in the lake. The customer wants this approximately 16 feet from the bank because that's approximately what I told him I could reach, which uh, I think that's pretty close. I don't really know for sure. Neither one of us want to get wet, so we're going to hook the uh, tape measure on the bucket and try to take it out there and to get a reading. And uh, you going to show them your invention there? I mean, that is, a, that is a foolproof plan for straight pilings. Hey, this plan powers America. It does. That's, that's no joke. <laughs> I went there, sorry. So you just hold her out there. Oh, uh, looks like the top needs to go a little to the right. Yeah. Let's get a measurement first, Captain. Okay. We can. There's a good spot. I'm going to go to the fall ball and roll really it back in like a fish. <laughs> If it falls off, he says. If it falls off. That's the kind of optimism I like. All right, bud. Oh, God. There we go. All right. <laughs> Some things make me happy in life. This is one of them. That is 
21 feet to the bank. 21 feet? Yes. Yes, I said 21 feet. We exceeded our expectations down there. Yeah, you know. Looks like he's going to be upset about that. We said at least 16, 18, so he's going to be out of 21. be the first time Mike hasn't disappointed somebody with length, isn't it? All right, here we go. There we got it. Best part is he didn't even know I made that joke yet. <laughs> you, you did not all right so he called and he's already got the steel beams pretty much made for this and he wants it closer to 16 feet so we're gonna pull that out slide her back See if we can. Ten four. I don't know why I told you guys that. I should have told you. So we're going to adapt the plan here. We're going to see if, uh, let me double check that measurement real quick. We're going to see if we can slide her in the trenching bucket. It might be a little tighter, a little easier to do. You guys just chill there for a second if you would please. Well. It'll go in. It don't have to go all the way in, but just hold it in there somewhere. I mean, you got plenty of room up here at the top. There you go. I think we can set it on that, maybe. Let's see if this works. Yeah, all that, or if I land up on this uh, block. Oh, maybe on that block. The block's bigger than the block I brought. Okay. Okay. You guys having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. I'll ask you that a thousand times. Because I care. You know what? I just do, Debbie. Everybody deserves to have a good day. No doubt about it. All right. Oh, oh wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. What is this? Look at that. That's a nice grab right there. That is a nice grab. Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is. Ah, it's affirmative. I'm gonna have to set you guys down somewhere.
right, guys, the first one went pretty good the first and second time. We got it where we need. This bucket works really well. The hardest part is just getting it in the bucket. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he probably would have, but he also would have had the windshield busted out. I still got mine. Can't make fun of Andrew. He's a legend. Is there? All right, here we go, guys. Number two. I don't know why I'm talking to you on the radio. I'm supposed to be talking to the camera. So he's one of these approximately 10 feet apart. Now, first one we set is the middle one. So this one here, we want approximately five feet from it. So this is gonna be a little bit of a guess. We go right in there somewhere. Clean the bill there eyeballing me. Keep in mind, I'm going for the bottom. I'll have to push it out once it hits the dirt. Does that still make sense? I'm in the dirt. Should pick it up. Yeah, I think that's quite a bottom out of that. Bottom out about 8 inches, he said. Yeah, right down there. Oh, uh, it's going to go straight to the top out. There we go, straight down the She's in the ground about uh, three or four feet. Still look pretty straight. I push these in the ground about three or four feet and then we'll come back. I got a big rock over where we'll come back and kind of hammer them down the rest of the way. So we got the first two stuck down the mud. I don't want to drive those down yet. I want to make sure where they need to be just in case we got to lift one up. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to stay cleaning out there, tape measure. We need to get this one over here equal distance from that. So I'm trying to keep it from using the slimming trunks. So we're going to put the bucket on backwards and I promise you, I promise you I won't dip you on purpose. Tape measure, camera, just in case a good shot arises. It is a waterproof case, right? Just asking for a friend. Yeah. So this is what we're doing, but it's fine. Oh yeah. Sleep. Sleepy, sleepy. Okay. Swing over the water. All right. It's six foot from the outside of the center. It's that thing, that's the whole thing. Should have brought some sort of hammer. 
Our official marker. See her there? All right. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. We're good. Yeehaw. Oh, guys. Safely ashore. Safely ashore. Right, guys we got that last big one stuck in the dirt there uh Clayman's up in the air with the drone he's actually looking down on us he's gonna kind of eyeball us square this is all superstructure underneath the dock he's all he's up in the air looking down on us gonna try to just eyeball us somewhat square this is all superstructure underneath the dock so it's not Crucial that it's all right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yep. You're not bad on that. That looked pretty close. Oh, that looks really good. Game four, go ahead and land, get you a new battery for that other one. Okay. Okay, so what I was saying is these here don't have to be, they don't have to be perfect because there's a whole superstructure sits on top of it. It's just going to support, but that don't mean I don't want to go through a little bit of extra effort to make sure they're close. Because the closer they are, the less work somebody else has to do later, which usually that person appreciates that. So we'll tweak on these here just a little bit and see what we got.
close. Got them all placed in there nice and neat, trying to uh, just, 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 uh, just throw it, read it real fast. <laughs> trying to make sure we're somewhere in the neighborhood. We're not too far off. Maybe a little wide. About uh, 12 and a half feet, I'd say. Uh, what do you think if I put you in the bucket, get an actual measurement on these, get an actual measurement on those, and make sure they're close? I think it's a great idea, Captain. Let's do it. Uh, you're the captain. <laughs> you better be careful what uh, button you push on this elevator there, buddy. You can go from elevator to amusement park ride and then flip on the lever. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take captain out there and uh, get some measurements on this and make sure these are all pretty close where we need them to be. When we drive them home, hang on, my track forward just a little bit. Make sure. You're gonna hit this one here, just swing right. Simple. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I think that outside measurement is like 12 foot 4, which we want to be right around 12 foot, so we're pretty good there. I think this one's going to be a little bit wide. I think that one over there may need to be shifted in. But we'll see what the old measuring stick says. Sometimes I just like repeating what you say, just because I can. Normally you're like, that's a bad idea, then you repeat it, you're like, I got a great idea. <laughs> Alright, so, I made a minor misspit- the ah, take two, Mike! Take two! I made a minor mistake, my pencil mark got washed away there, and uh, we need to slide that one over. About Water paint. I used water soluble paint. That was the problem. I don't know why I'm yelling at you. I got this radio. Phone. I don't know. You can still yell on the radio. I learned that at work. No, it's fine. You can still do that. Anywho, we're just going to slide this in over about eight inches and then we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. I'm sure there's different ways, better ways, and there'll be channels that we get suggested to watch to do this, but we're running what we brung. Run what you brung. I want to put that on a t shirt. I want to put Rung Witch Brung on a t-shirt with the 755. I think that'd be a cool t-shirt. Hello. Oh, I got a job to do. Hold on one second. Oh, gosh dang it. I'm talking to you. Should we talk to the camera? I don't know who to talk to. Bring your bottom out about six inches. Out. Out. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, take your top out while you're pushing down. You should be set.
Out, 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 out. Yeah! Oh, that's money. All right, guys, we got everything where we want it. So now we're going to turn the old Volvo into a Paula driver here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this cube just like this. I'm going to get my... Oh, that's why the whole the John Deere never would have done that. I agree that John Deere has a... Uh, you know, the stuff is more aggressive. Pressure! It squeezes harder! It's... it's I'm not sure what that was, but yes, I understand what you're saying. So what I want to do is, is I don't want to hit these hard. I want to get leveled up over top of it, and we're just going to give it some taps, like that. Down she goes. I really wish this thumb would grip harder. That drove absolutely beautiful. That worked. Whew, I hate to jinx it because we got three more to do, but that worked really well. I want to talk about something real quick. You guys have heard me. I love the progressive link thumb. I've had the progressive link thumb on my other machine, the John Deere 120. This is an Esco thumb. I don't know if you guys want the information on it, but right there is what it is. Uh, you guys heard me say a lot of times it don't have the same gripping strength as the John Deere and it don't it's not even close I'm not blaming that on Volvo. I'm not blaming it on Esco I'm just telling you that this thumb does not grab like the John Deere 120. I, I it's Noticeable difference. I've seen it in a whole lot of different situations now the John Deere thumb is set up completely different I think it has more leverage here because it shares this pin It don't have that pin and it's got dual arms that come down so it don't twist as much they're both progressive length thumbs, but they operate different. Uh, I don't know if I can adjust some pressure on a relief or something somewhere, but I might have to figure something out. I don't want to overdo it and create more harm, but I uh, wish I had a little more strength. So, all right, let's drive these Zero 03 and see what happens.
all right guys there it is it actually turned out really nice they are extremely solid they are for just kind of grabbing and plucking in there they're pretty much on point of where they need to be so what's going to end up happening the guy that owns this actually owns a machine shop hence why he's got the steel so he'll set an i-beam on that one he'll go out and cut that beam off level and he'll weld that i-beam down here on top and he'll bolt wood to it and he's going to run boards this way and that'll be his dock and he may even let that extend out uh four or five feet past those last beams you know come back and tie into the dock here so we got those low enough you know, that all the elevations should uh should work out pretty good but that's going to be extremely solid those are probably drove in the ground uh, i'd say between seven six and seven feet and these here we probably could have kept driving if we wanted to they were getting pretty solid uh but they're a good uh, five or six feet in the ground so should work out pretty pretty good i wouldn't want to drive a drive a lot of them that way with the concrete block but a few random ones here and there it uh it doesn't work out too bad but we got a lot of other small projects to do on the property and uh that'll all be in another video we're gonna wrap this one up here so guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment and as always guys we'll catch you on the next one